I look into the night sky, I'm amazed by the vastness and the complexity of the universe that God created. Hi, I'm Laura, and in this video, we're going to learn about the planets in our own solar system by cutting, gluing, and coloring to create them. When you're finished, you can watch my second video to see how to use these planets to create some different projects that you see here. You can purchase the Solar System printable from my Etsy shop at etsy.com slash shop slash fanfron. Download it to your computer and print it on your own printer. You will get all of the planets to scale, which is why Jupiter is really large and the inner planets are really small. You also get a portion of the sun and some labels, as well as a lot of ideas for how to use these for a solar system project. Let's talk about supplies. You definitely need a glue stick, scissors, and something to color with. After that, it all depends on what you want to do with your planet. You may want to put them on poster board, in which case you need a poster board, some tape, a measuring tape, and possibly a white color pencil. You may want to make a mobile, so I've got a hanger, some string, and some tape. You may want to make a little book and glue your planets on the pages, so there's construction paper. Or maybe you would like to glue your planets to popsicle sticks and they can do a little puppet theater and tell about themselves the different facts that you've learned. So these are essential and the rest is up to you. The first thing to do is to cut out Jupiter and Saturn's rings and glue them together. So as you can see, I'm cutting on the black dashed line around the outside of both of these. Keep this little piece because it will give you some ideas for how to color Jupiter. Jupiter has a line right here to show you where to glue it. So just slide this half just past the line so you don't actually see it when it's glued and press down. I started to color Saturn's rings and I realized that they were really hard to color without some lines on there. So I redid Saturn's rings for you and I put a line to show you about where to glue it. So just like that. if you have a little paper sticking out right here, go ahead and cut that off. As I did some research for this project, I learned that a lot of the pictures you see when you Google the planet don't actually have accurate colors. Because a lot of times astronomers add in color to help us see extra details. So I tried to do some research about what colors the planets really appear from space and include that on here for you. So for example, Venus, I learned, really appears pale yellow from space because of its atmosphere. And if you traveled through the atmosphere to the surface, that's when you would see the brownish red color that you often see when you look at pictures online. Earth is a fun one to look at because it is so beautiful. It has white wispy clouds all over it and just the blue ocean and it's gorgeous. So you could color the continents brown or green because obviously they have some of both. And then blue oceans. Mercury is gray because of its rocky soil. It's the smallest planet. And then Mars, of course, we call the red planet. And that's due to their rusty rocks on its surface. I have this paint marker I thought I might try to make some white clouds with on Earth. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the outer planets. They're called the gas giants. I think it'd be really cool to paint 
those. But since I've already started with marker, I'm going to go ahead and continue with marker. I'm actually looking at a picture of Jupiter on my computer right now as I'm coloring it. And I'm noticing that the stripes are swirls of clouds. And so I'm just trying to create some darker parts of the clouds and some lighter parts and just kind of get that impression on my Jupiter here. There's no straight edges, just lots of rounding and oranges and browns, whites and yellows. Jupiter also has a really well-known storm called the Great Red Spot. And it's a storm that is bigger than our Earth. So make sure you include a Great Red Spot somewhere on your Jupiter. Now I'm just making more stripes of different colors of browns and oranges and leaving some white. Just Trying to make Jupiter look a little bit more like Jupiter. Saturn is pale gold. I don't have a whole lot of gold in my marker, so we're doing yellow. Saturn's rings are primarily made of water ice, which we know turns white, so they can be white. And they also include shades of pink and gray and brown, so you can choose whichever of those you like, or all of them, to color some of the rings. Uranus is a pale blue color because of its methane clouds. Neptune is also pale blue, but it appears darker because it's further away from the sun, so I'm going to color it a little darker blue. When you're finished coloring, cut out your planets by cutting on the black dashed line. Be real careful with Mercury and Mars. They're so tiny they'd be easy to lose. So as I'm cutting, you might be wondering why my sun is still sitting here colored no color at all. Well, guess what I learned? The sun is actually white because it's made up of all the different colors. It appears yellow to us because of Earth's atmosphere. So because I printed the sun on white paper, I'm just going to leave it as is. You might also be wondering why I didn't make a whole sun. Well, all these planets are to scale, which means that their size is relative to each other. So in space, Jupiter is really huge compared to Mercury that's really tiny. Well, if I were going to make a sun to scale to the size of the planets that I made, it would need to be six feet tall and six feet wide. That would be huge. So I just gave you a tiny little piece of the sun instead. When you're finished coloring Saturn's rings, decide which side you like the least and put some glue on it. Slide Saturn inside. So you have it where you want it. Press down and then you can add some more glue under here as well. If you would like to use the labels, just cut around the outside edges of them. Now that your planets are completed, check out my second planets video and pick a project to do with them. And while you're at it, admire these planets, colored by pretty awesome two-year-old I know.